you're now ready for the final part four of lesson two where we save our teddy bear with the lettering. So get ready, we're almost done. As you've been following along with lesson two, you've learned it's really important to continue to save your design at, in different stages as the draw file format. That allows you to come back in and make changes easily, not only in color, but patterns and sizing, all of that. So we want to do the same thing one last time in case we want to come back and maybe we want to change the pattern in our heart. So go up to the word file, go to save as, and this time we have it as my teddy bear with letters. This time let's change it to my teddy bear with heart. That way we know we have our lettering, we have our heart, and we have our simple teddy bear in case we want to do anything more with them in other lessons. Let's go ahead and save that and then go up but go back up to the word file, save as, and this time instead of the draw format, let's choose our machine manufacturer format, whether it's your Janome, who's front of Viking, Foff, Singer, Brother, Baby Lock, Bernina, that is what you need to decide your choice or your sewing machine that you're going to use and stitch out. So again today let's go ahead and save that as the Janome Jeff format just as we did with our My Teddy Bear earlier. Click Save and then the file has successfully been saved. So you're now ready to take that from your computer to your sewing machine as you are ready to stitch that out. So wow, we've done an awful lot in these two lessons. We've not only made our first embroidery design, we've changed colors, patterns, added letters, even inserted a symbol. When you come back for lesson three, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to create an outline design of our teddy bear. With an outline design, you can use this as a quilting design, maybe as a red work design, but also this can be saved and exported as other types of machine formats that work for quilting, such as automated quilters and long arm machines. So there's a lot more you can do with your creative drawing software. Come back for lesson three and find out one of them.